All right. So here's an equation analysis sheet. Looks daunting, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. So it's not that scary. So instead of putting our equation, sorry, our balance sheet, our, our transactions on the balance sheet, we're going to record them on e equation analysis sheet. Okay? So what do we got here? We've got our assets. Okay, we've got our liabilities, and we've got our owner's equity here. Okay? We have our asset accounts. We have cash, accounts receivable, equipment, trunk, trucks, and then our liability section is accounts payable, loans payable. And then our equity section just includes one equity account because it is a sole proprietorship and we only have one owner. Okay? All right, so we have a beginning balance. Now, where did I get this beginning balance from, do you think? Cash. From the balance sheet. I got it directly from the balance sheet. So all I did was I took my cash balance and I put it in the cash uh, account, the BCAB account balance, the K Lincoln, equipment, trucks, accounts, all straight across. I've got my figures from the balance sheet. Okay, now before I go any further, I'm going to tell you that accountants don't actually use the equation analysis sheet. What? Sometimes I don't even tell you that. I actually let you go through like the next like Chapters. chapter until <laughs> I tell you. Half of the stuff we learned is probably old material. No, no, no. It's not old. Okay. It's not old. Okay? It's just not in use anymore. It's, it's, um... That's old, then. That's, that that's old. The reason uh, accountants don't use this way of recording is because it's, it's a way of teaching you guys how to record in a simplistic way before you actually have to learn the harder way. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Harder way is chapter. The harder way is chapter four, and Jeez. like I said, chapter four is the most difficult chapter. If you cannot get chapter four, you cannot move on. Okay? So that's why we give you a precursor of chapter three to get you warmed up, and then chapter four is boom, the rubber hits the road, and if you don't make it through <laughs> chapter four, you're done. How many people make it through chapter four? Uh, well, the thing is, is when I say if you don't get chapter four, I mean if you don't get chapter four by chapter five or chapter six, because the thing is, is it's kind of like, Just like math. math. You know, you learn a concept, you add to it. You learn uh, another concept, you add, you add, you add, you add. And so if you don't get chapter four, everything's added on to chapter four. Okay? If you don't get a little bit of chapter five, that's fine. You can move on to chapter six. If you don't get a little bit of chapter six, that's fine. You can move on to chapter seven. But if you don't get chapter four, and you keep don't getting chapter four <laughs> and chapter four, even at chapter seven and eight, then you'll fail. Okay? Eventually, at some point, you need to get chapter four, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Okay. Anyways, moving on. So we have our transaction. What happened in our transaction? You guys remember? Balance on, we like, um, took away 1200 Okay. Paid Mercury what did we do? Finance. Okay, we paid Mercury Finance $1,200. So what we do is we go transaction one, and I'm not going to help be able to write this small enough in my... Arr. Okay, trans one. <laughs> okay, so transaction one... And look, it'll let me delete that. Okay, so cash goes down twelve hundred dollars, right? We pay twelve hundred dollars out of our cash account or our bank account, okay? Whichever, it's fine. And we Mercury. And then Mercury Finance. Now, oh, hang on. Yeah, I did. I did minus twelve hundred here, and I'm also going to do minus twelve hundred here. No change to owner's equity, no change to any other accounts. Those are the only two accounts affected, okay? So I'm going to tell you this as well. Whoa, what happened? Um, that you will always, always have to affect two accounts at least, minimum, for every transaction. Eh. 
Now, why? Why do I have to affect two accounts for every transaction? To balance? Yeah, to balance, right? Because whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Can I have a transaction that affects three accounts? Yes. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can have a transaction that affects three or four accounts as long as this is still balanced. So whatever I do to the right-hand side, I have to do to the left-hand side. Okay? So I'm going to give you um, two handouts. And <clears throat> you can uh, try.